video and it's going to be on the new Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy line of polishes. Um, I told you guys about this, I don't know, in one of my videos and I said that a review on these polishes was going to be coming up so yay we're finally getting it done. Um, I really tried to do some like extensive wear I guess with this polish. Um, I did a couple different things, some different ways just to kind of feel it out. I bought six different colors to play with and mess around and you just kind of get a feel for how it is overall. Um, I do just want to talk a little bit about it in general and then we'll get into specific colors that I got and different things like that. So first thing I want to mention is that the old formula, which was just the regular Revlon Color Stay line, has been discontinued. It's been on clearance. Most stores, at least around me, don't have anything left, it's all gone and it's been replaced with the new Gel Envy line. So they're trying to get into the whole fad of gel-like polish without having to use specific gel polishes and using the lamp and all that kind of stuff. It seems like that's something every brand is doing, drugstore, mid-grade, no matter what brand, they're all coming out with like a gel kind of line. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's something that, it's like the new trend is everyone needs to come out with this kind of polish. At Walgreens, I have seen them priced at $7.99 a bottle, which I think is a little high. Um, it is a, nope, it's 0.4 fluid ounces, so it's a little bit less than a full-size bottle. Again, $7.99 is a little steep in my opinion, um, but at places that like Target and Walmart and stuff, they tend to be a little bit cheaper at Walmart, not at Walmart, at Target. I did find them for $5 a bottle, and oddly enough, for whatever reason, a couple of the colors were marked down to $2.50, so I went ahead and I picked those up for $2.50 a piece because why wouldn't you? I, I really think they were mismarked. When I first purchased these, which I said was about a month ago, I went online to Revlon.com to see if I could get any more information on the website about these new polishes, and at the time they didn't have anything on their website, which I thought was kind of odd. Um, but since then, um, as of now, they do have uh, the website launched so you can go on and look at the shades and read a little bit about it it's more really just to look at the different shades that are available but i'm going to read the description and the features that the website claims for it to have so the website for the description says uh, create salon quality color in 30 vibrant shades with our revolutionary two-step system brush on the base plus color in one so the base is in the color itself. There's no base coat with this system. And then finish with the Protective Color Stay Gel Envy Diamond Top Coat for superior strength. Together they create vivid color, br brilliant shine, and gorgeous life resistant wear. So it's just basically saying that it should be this amazing, beautiful two-step perfect system that should last forever. <laughs> That's what it kind of sounds like, life resistant little extreme in the description there in my opinion. Um, just a bit about the color selection. I feel like this collection is boring but not boring at the same time. There's a lot of just your kind of your standard colors but they do have a couple pops. They have some blues and some greens. They do, the collection is mostly creams um, but they do have a couple shimmers. Um, there, there's like a deep purple that's like really sparkly looking. Um, so they just kind of have some kind of all over the place. They got some neutrals, they got some reds, they got lots of pinks. So they have like kind of a, a somewhat broad range, which is why I feel like it's not totally boring, but at the same time, it's a lot of colors that we've seen before. Nothing completely unique or original in my opinion, but they're still very sellable shades. And I think they did a good job at like, you know, just kind of having like a round collection in terms of color that's going to appeal to most people. All right, so let's get into the colors that I purchased. So I'm going to go ahead and do a live demo for you guys. I purchased six colors from the new um, Color Stay Gel Envy line, and I'm going to be putting one color on each of my nails. Um, the sixth color that I got was the Card Shark, which was that light pink that I've already worn on all of my fingers, so I'm not going to do that one. This first one here that I'm going to be applying to my thumb is called Pocket Aces, and this is like a pinky coral color. My thumb is kind of going to be in an awkward position. It's hard to get this in frame, um, and it's not filed very well right now. So 
Sorry. I broke the corner. I didn't feel like cutting it off. So we're actually going to try doing it like this instead. See if this is better. So again, I have nothing on. This is complete bare nails because this claims to have the base coat already in it. So we are going to see how this works with no base coat. This next color here is called Joker's Wild, and this is kind of like a creamsicle pastel orange shade. These layers do tend to go on a bit thicker. Um, the brush tends to hold more polish, and therefore I'm getting kind of a thicker application. One coat. Next up we have a really dark blood red shade. This is called Queen of Hearts. And I really wanted to get a dark one to see how it would, if it would stay in my nails. Since, again, since we're, the base coat's supposed to be in the polish, I'm curious how this, um, you know, would affect my, my nail bed. These all seem to have, like, the same consistency. Um, they are a little bit thicker, I would say, than, like, a normal polish. So they do kind of have, like, a more gel-like feel to them in terms of application. This is pretty opaque. Um, I'm going to do a second coat anyway, but I think if you were to put on a pretty decent coat of this one, you might be able to get away with one. This next color here is like a kind of a mid-tone sky blue shade. This is called Fall House. Again, same thickness. Um, you do tend to get a lot of polish on the brush. Um, I'm noticing I have to kind of go in and uh, after I start applicating and wipe some more off of the brush because it is a little, it's just there's a lot of polish on the brush. Okay, and then uh, we've got one more color and this is the shimmery one. It's called Lady Luck. So this is like a pinky shimmery shade, has some golden shimmer. You should be able to see that. And this is the last color we will be applying. And even though this one has shimmer, it seems to have um, you know similar formula. I would say the simil the formula is pretty consistent across the board for all of these. All right, so here's one coat of all five of the colors. I am going to go in and apply a second coat. As you can see, application of these polishes is honestly, it, I think they're phenomenal. They're very easy to work with. They're smooth, they're creamy, they're pretty opaque even after one coat. Not streaky, not patchy. I didn't do any cleanup with this manicure. I know I was only wearing it for a couple of days, but they just, the polish went where you wanted it to go. It didn't flood cuticles or do anything like that. The formula, the formula of these polishes in terms of application, I think is really, really good. Notice, and I noticed this last time I painted my nails as well. Um, the, like I mentioned, the brush holds a lot of polish. So as I come in and I wipe the side of my brush, there is still like a ton of product, so much that I actually found it's better to let it drip and let kind of the extra ball come off before I apply um, apply this. If I were to just wipe off the side and apply it like this, I have way too much product. And that's when I was having to kind of wipe my brush off. So it's really good to let the extra ball kind of fall off. And then I think I have like the right amount of polish that I want on my brush. This brush is kind of like a dual brush. Yeah, you can see that really well. See how there's like two sets of bristles that come out and there's kind of like that gap in between. You can barely see like the teeny tiny gap that's between those two sets of bristles, but you can really see like up in here towards the tip. 
that there's two sets of bristles that are coming out. So what I think what's happening is since there's that little gap in there, the brush is able to hold more polish, so therefore it's able to drag down and you know, as you're holding your brush up, the pro product is able to come off more because the brush is holding more. Now we're going to go ahead and apply a top coat. It's just the diamond top coat. That's the one that was formulated to go along with the Gel Envy line. And I'm sorry if my brush has been covering. I think it has been a little bit, but it's really hard to do this and keep this in frame. So I'm trying my best here. I wouldn't call this top coat a thick polish or a thin polish. It's kind of in the middle. Um, it does give really good shine, and the shine lasts for a decent amount of time, and it did a good job of protecting my manicure. But overall, I just feel like this top coat is okay. I don't feel like it gave my nails a gel-like shine. It just looked shiny but didn't have the thickness of a gel top coat, in my opinion. I do think the top coat is okay, and you could use it, obviously. I don't feel like you have to use this top coat with these polishes. I feel like you can really use any top coat that you want. So here we go with uh, all the nails have top coat. Obviously, we just applied, so these nails are going to be really shiny right now. Um, and one thing I do want to mention is that, I don't know about you, but I like to apply a really good thick layer of top coat. So in this case, with the bottle, I would just wipe the side of the brush and just go right to town. I wouldn't let that extra ball of product drop off right there. I would just apply it as is, so then that way you get the nice full look and full coat of top coat. But again, that's just going to be personal preference. I like to have more top coat on my nails. Now, I'm going to insert a picture here of um, the first manicure that I did. Again, you already, you've already already seen this, but it's when I did Card Shark all over all of my nails, and then I used Joker's Wild, no, I'm sorry, I used Pocket Aces in Full House for the flowers on my nails. Now, I wanted to do that for a couple reasons. I did the flowers um, so I could see how the polishes themselves how the polishes themselves worked for nail art and then I mentioned I wanted to use the top coat on top of that and see how the top coat held up. So in terms of the polishes using being used for nail art, I really enjoyed using them for nail art. They didn't dry, like when I put my polish on my paper to use, you know, for my dotting tool, the polish didn't dry like super fast, like, you know, I was able to use it, it applied well, I, it went, it, I was able to use my dotting tool with it very easily, it wasn't stringy or anything. So for nail art, I really, really enjoy these. Um, the top coat though, and it is an A, I didn't show you the bottle, it's just in a black bottle, you can't see through it, which I kind of don't like, because then as you start to use it, I can't see, you know, how much has been used, so I really don't appreciate that. Unless you use a very, very, very light hand, it's going to drag your nail art all over the place. I know it doesn't claim to be, like, usable for nail art, but come on. I mean, that's something I feel needs to be tested for it, because if you're going to use nail art on it, you don't want to ruin your nail art with your top coat. Okay, so the formulas are amazing, and they work great for nail art, and they're super easy to apply, but how does it wear? If it's supposed to be a gel kind of polish, they should be able to last considerably well on your nails. Um, in a nutshell, I don't feel like they hold up any different than a typical polish. I started to get chipping on the fourth day, which is about the typical time when I start to get chips um, on a typical cream polish. Since most of these were creams, I'm just going to compare them to other creams. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that on about day five, I started to get a lot of cracks in my manicure as well. Like you could like see lines starting to appear on my nails. I was getting lots of tip wear. Um, and just overall the manicure really started to look haggard. Um, and then I'm going to start a picture here. This is uh, taken on day six. So you can really see how like, you know, close up, I mean, far away the manicure still looked okay, but close up the tips were getting icky that you can see the cracks and just, you know, overall it's not looking like a fresh manicure anymore. The other thing I want to mention is that um, in the manicure with the flowers, 
I did no base coat on this hand and base coat on this hand just to see if it affected either the chips or the wear time or anything and I saw no difference in terms of that. Um, so that was good. I mean, if you don't want to have to wear a base coat, um, you know, it's not going to affect your, uh, your overall wear time or anything like that. However, there's the whole staining thing, which that definitely is a factor. Now, when I did my manicure with all of the different colors, um, I only wore that for 48 hours to test really for staining and to test just kind of a little bit of the wear time for the different colors. So I took, I took a video of the staining um, that I got, but I don't know what happened to it. I'm, I accidentally deleted it or got corrupted or something, but I cannot find that video, so I'm really sorry. I don't have it actually to show you but and just like I suspected I got staining from the darker more vibrant colors now when I initially did my manicure with all of this I mean this is a very light color you're probably not gonna have staining um, I did get staining from these three guys I did they weren't a lot of staining but in my opinion if you're gonna claim that you don't have to use a base coat there shouldn't be any staining even a little bit of staining is bad and I hate it and I don't want it on my nails you know I don't want my nails to get stained these three are much lighter I didn't get any staining from them at all so just keep that in mind um, so honestly I would recommend wearing a base coat anyway as far as removal goes, the polishes removed just like a normal polish. I had no problems at all getting them off. Very easy to remove. I didn't need a lot of extra scrubbing, scrubbing or anything. I just re removed it like how I do any other manicure and I had no problems at all. I feel like the whole idea of having a gel-like polish line is gimmicky. Um, you know, a real gel manicure requires a certain base coat, a certain top coat, a certain gel polish, using that the lamp and all that kind of stuff. And there are so many brands out there that are coming out with, oh, we have this gel polish that's don't doesn't require a lamp, doesn't requ require anything special, comes off with polish remover, blah, 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 blah. And I mean, yeah, okay, sure, you can market that, but it's not holding up to that. It's wearing the same like a regular polish and that's what really matters to me. Yes, the application is great, but I can find regular polishes that have great application. You know, that's not anything outside the norm. Now, if this held amazingly well, I'd be changing my tune a little bit, but it just, it doesn't have any different of a lifetime as far as wear goes to me so I would say if you want to try them go for it I don't think they're bad polishes by any means but I just wouldn't have the expectation that they're going to be a gel like manicure for you so you can still buy them just don't feel like they're gonna be a gel polish because I don't think they are I think they are just like a regular normal polish and like I said the top coat too I don't even think you need to buy that use whatever top coat you want so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful if you guys like me during reviews please give me a thumbs up so I know that you like them and I will absolutely continue to do reviews for you like always thank you so much for watching I really appreciate the time that you take to watch my videos my blog and Instagram and everything is listed down below for you guys so you can go check that out and until next time I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will talk to you soon peace love and polish bye